in April of this year, 2016, I had a pain in my left breast. They came back and said, you know, it, it is cancer. I had to have a mastectomy um, to remove the cancer and then I went back a couple of months after that and had a second mastectomy of the healthy breast to reduce uh, risk of recurrence in that side and at the same time I started reconstruction. My husband and I um, met several years ago and we both grew up into totally different types of households. When we got together and you know started talking about things that were important to us, cannabis came up. I didn't see it the same way that he did and that is solely because of what I was taught versus how he was taught. You know, you think back to what you're told in school and you think back to what a lot of parents tell their children about drugs are bad and you kind of group all drugs into the same category of heroin right alongside cannabis. And when you start thinking about it, they're not related. Honeybee wing. A honeybee wing? What's it look like? He needs to get back in there and let Dad get the hook out. Yep. Alright. In the water. If cannabis was legal in West Virginia, I absolutely would get a prescription. It's going to help me sleep. It's going to help me with my anxiety as far as my diagnosis goes. Right now I'm on hormonal treatment to block all of the estrogen from my body and a side effect of that medication, the injections that I get and the pills that I take every day is insomnia. And I have tried everything and nothing has helped to the point where I was prescribed Ambien. I don't want to get it filled. I don't want to be on Ambien. My job was in the mental health field. So I did inpatient admissions in our local hospital and I personally admitted more than one person who had been recently put on Ambien who had suicidal tendencies. I don't know anyone of all of the people that I have met in the hospital that have come in for any kind of drug abuse or any problems that have had any similar side effects with marijuana. Ideally, in West Virginia, as far as cannabis is concerned, it needs to be legalized medicinally. It needs to be regulated. It needs researched. We need to know more about all of its vast abilities to help us. It is no more harmful and honestly much less harmful than many, many of the things that we allow people to have. You don't need to look at the research to see how harmful these pills that they're pushing you out the door with are. You can look at your neighbor and see, and see how addictive they are. When you open your mind to it and you look at the people who are benefiting from it and you look at the people who are in favor of it, they're not bad people. I don't feel like a bad person. Um, I'm Christian. I went to college. I got one B in college. I got all A's all the way through. And um, I graduated uh, summa cum laude from Fairmont State University in psychology. And, you know, I. I, I'm well researched. I love to research things and I've researched the use of cannabis very thoroughly and I know that people can benefit from it. 